Hey, good afternoon guys. Ron here, Precision Sales, doing a uh, walk around of a beautiful new head sail here. This is for a CNC 27, uh, it's an MK3. We're looking at a 95% jib here made from Challenge Sailcloth's uh, warp drive. It's a tri-radial Dacron. Uh, coming in, uh, this happens to be the 8.11, so a nice heavy one. Um, let's take a look at this and we'll take a close look at the, uh, at the material itself because the 8.11 looks pretty cool. Um, we've added uh, some radial corners to this guy as well as, uh, well, that's about it, I guess. Uh, just the radial corners is kind of a reinforcement. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this sail. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's just start down here. I've got the bag here. All of our sails come with a nice stuff sack, uh, drawstring bag, as well as a, uh, a sail tie to keep everything together there. So you might want to pick up a couple extra sail ties if you're going to be, um, you know, flaking things on the boom or for Hank on jibs, that kind of stuff. So, um, so let's, we'll start down here in the tack of the sail. Sorry, clue of this sail. And um, let's take a look at some of the details. So down here in the clue, we've got nice reinforced clue with some webbing there as well to kind of help cover some of that. Uh, we've got double tapes going up this uh, leech here as well. And then you can see this pocket and in behind it is the leech and down here is the foot uh, lines and in the pockets. So there are no cleats in there. What we do is a Velcro tab uh, and that works extremely well, which uh, makes it very uh, low profile and doesn't catch anything on the, on the deck as, as you're tacking. So uh, let's take a look. I'll just kind of zoom out a bit here and we'll take a look at this radial corner that we've got. So we, our radial corners, what we do is a block patch with a radial corner on top. And what that does is uh, allows the, the forces to move out of that corner a little bit more evenly, um, but also gives great reinforcements with those block patches. And uh, you can see that this, uh, this radial sail, this tri-radial sail and those radial corners match up very, very nicely. So let's uh, walk on down the luff here a bit. Luff, the foot. Um, so let's walk on down the foot and I'll just kind of stop here in the center and, and start to pan up so you can get a good idea what the radial sail looks like. Um, so starburst kind of pattern coming out of the corners and then it starts to go vertical um, as, as we get closer to the head. And I've got the sail just kind of hanging from the ceiling so we can get in behind it and take a good look at the, um, at the material itself. So we'll just stop here and focus in a little bit. You can see some of that material there with the, with the loft floor behind it, but um, nice stitching. This is called triple zigzag. So when you're looking at other quotes out there, a lot of them will call for triple stitching. This is what they're referring to as a triple zigzag stitch, not three rows of stitching. We do include three rows of stitching in our offshore package, um, but uh, this, uh, this particular individual sailor uh, didn't need that offshore package, so we just went with the re radial reinforced package. Down here in the tack, and you'll notice really nice reinforcements with the webbing for the tack attachment. Allows this sail to furl quite nicely on that furling system. And then again, the tri-radial design. And we're just walking up this, uh, this luff here and you can, nice draft stripes. Just take a look at the quality of it. And as we kind of get up a little bit here, I want to get in, sneak in behind the sail so that we can get in behind her and see what this fabric looks like with some light behind it. I think we might have to do it the other way actually because we've got the window here. So this might be better to give you a better idea of what that fabric looks like. And so I'm in quite tight here so you can kind of see how close I am to that. And you can get a good idea of what this fabric looks like. Almost like a ripstop uh, style in there. Absolutely stunning. Um, I love this material. Anytime you get into a tri-radial design, um, you're looking at a better sail shape. It's going to hold sail shape better than a cross cut. Um, just a, a beautiful, beautiful option here. Price point's good on it. Uh, so if you're interested in a sail like this uh, for your CNC 27, by all means, click the link below. We'd love to get you a quote. And let's get on the phone, discuss uh, what you're doing, uh, what type of sailing you're doing, how long you're going to keep your boat, all that good stuff. And let's, uh, let's make sure we get you the right, the right cloth and the right design for what you're doing. 